Hi guys, it's Tuesday and I thought I would share my Hip Kit Club April 2020 kit. I always get the main kit and the cardstock add-on. I've looked at getting some of their other things like their embellishment add-on or like their color kits, but for whatever reason I just kind of stick with the main kit and the cardstock. But I got it in the mail yesterday, so I want to share it with you today. And I thought it came with this little tissue, this chartreuse. It's like a chartreuse or like a, a really vibrant green tissue that I just absolutely love. So I had to share that with you. But I'm going to start with the paper from the main kit. And for whatever reason, I usually start upside down. But this is so pretty and so nostalgic, Maggie Holmes. And this is from her Sweet Story collection, which I did not buy any of this separately. But, oh my goodness, that is just an adorable pattern. I love the swan pattern on this. And I can see myself using a cut file over this. And I've been taking pictures lately. We've been going on walks and I take pictures of the ducks in the neighborhood and the swans and the geese and things like that. So this might be a great paper for that um and then the back side the b side is just a very soft pink diamond shape it's actually um squares that make up a diamond pattern and that's what the diamond is so pretty pretty and of course i'm upside down so i'm going to flip it and then it's going to be upside down again so i don't know <laughs> we'll get through it so this one is crate paper. I'm sure it's Maggie Hums as well. Yes, it is Sweet Story as well. And the name of this paper is Confection. And it has all these yummy cut-aparts. I love the little horse there. That is so darling. I could, oh, it actually says darling. <laughs> I could use this with baby Ella. That would be so pretty. Wish come true, darling. You are loved see the magic life is better with you next to me that would be perfect for right now the stay at home stay safe because I keep thinking if I had to be stuck with anyone I would want it to be Bab because we can just hunker down and live happily and healthily just me and him it's like strengthened like we're getting married anyway but it just kind of reinforced how solid we are so yeah, if I gotta be stuck in the apocalypse with somebody, he's my guy. So that would be a good one to use with him. You're my sunshine and my sky full of stars. So pretty. Pretty, pretty cut apart. You are so loved. I love that. And, oh, this is perfect timing for me. So used to, I did not care for a lot of lemon. Like a lot of, like people put lemon in their water and lemon in this and that everything was lemon based and I was like eh I'm not that much into lemon but a couple of years ago I got on this anti-inflammatory kick and really did a bunch of research and got my certified nutritionist license and I was like you know what there's so many benefits I still don't like other people putting lemon in like my water but because I like to clean the lemon <laughs> um, just because I don't think people wash their hands well enough obviously we're having a crisis um, but I have just been in love with organic lemons lately and Meyer lemons and just fresh wholesome I squeeze some into a detox tea every morning for Alan and I and oh my gosh I've got to note how much I have turned over a new leaf about lemons and lemon flavors and lemon seasoning i just put it on everything now and it is so good and so this back side is a lovely green but i'm hoping to use this side more than this side but this one is by cartabella summer market and this is called lovely lemons so that's appropriate right really fun paper I love that paper this is also from Cartabella summer market and it's just a gorgeous set of florals 
and of course the colors are beautiful and then the back reiterates that bright vibrant yellow with a nice gingham and this one is called summer day floral so very very pretty this is from Jen Hadfield's Hey Hello collection and again a nice floral print with some corals and re soft reds um, like a deeper dark green not as vibrant as these but still um, it's pretty I like it and then the back is also that soft red that has a little bit of a tone on tone polka dot so I don't know I don't know which side I like I could see me using both sides so we're gonna keep that one as neutral on what I like and I want to make sure you can see these and then this is from Maggie Helms Sweet Story and it is called Soft Serve so I'm assuming there are some nice little ice cream cones on the opposing side but this also has that soft red with a, pink, a large pink polka dot I would say that po uh, that polka dot is probably an inch and a quarter so pretty big motif there oh so it is not ice cream on the other side it is a very tiny triple th thin wait is it triple or quadruple like there's four little thin lines of color and it goes from pink to yellow divided in half so that's interesting I wonder why it's called soft serve but that's a cute I like that side this is my favorite side on that one this is also Maggie Helm's sweet story I'm glad I didn't buy a bunch of this <laughs> Um, it is called Sweetly and it has these fun little hot air balloons on a lovely sky blue background and I could see me using these with photos of baby Ella or maybe on some travel photos I don't know I like both and then the back side is just pretty neutral it's an off color you know she likes to do like an off cream and this almost has a hint of pink in it with this wonky cross hatch stripe but I like this side so I'm sure I'll get to use some of that okay my battery is dying and I wanted to clear out some of those papers so this is also Maggie Home sweet story and it is called shortcake oh it's so adorable it's got all these little strawberries and it's just the cutest paper. I love this. I love that my grandbaby inspires me to use fun papers like this again because I don't know, it's just adorable. The back side is a soft little cream color with a peach polka dot. But oh, this side is so stinking cute. I know I'm going to use that side. And this is adorable. This is Maggie Home Sweet Story and it's called Parfait and it's just a very wide stripe rainbow. I know uh, during convention rain rainbows were everywhere so I, I'm not surprised that this is another rainbow paper but I and I love rainbows don't get me wrong I can use rainbows all day long but um, I'm not surprised that it's in this collection that's awesome. And then the background is it looks like like when you peel off tape and make it into a shape <laughs> and so it's like stars made out of little tape but I can see myself using this side this side is my favorite and I would probably use it as a whole I don't know I may go back and use some of those labels from Bloom Street like um, I saw Missy Whitten make a rainbow out of all of these little labels that she cut out of Bloom Street number 13 so that might be fun to do I don't know we shall see so this is also from Jen Hadfield's homemade and it is from the Hey Hello collection and this is called nesting and I think this paper is beautiful I love the soft blue I love the little birds nest with the eggs and the twigs and the vines just beautiful especially for this time of year I love it oh and I love the back too oh my gosh look at the little birds 
This is so pretty. Wow. I really love this paper. I may have to order another sheet of this paper just so I have both. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the cardstock add-on because why not? Um, before I go into the embellishments while I'm on paper. And you get two sheets in every um, order. So this is Basil and it is called, oh my gosh, it is the tiniest. I want to say it's called Hollywood super tiny I don't know what Basil's thinking with their what's going on with my camera they're super teener tiner inner peniner writing who can read that like I have great vision and I it's a shimmery color I don't know that you can see how shimmery it is here look at how shimmery that is and then they printed the word on top of it and it just looks like a little teeny tiny I mean <laughs> I don't know I love the color though <laughs> I love yellow and then this is a really cute melon color and it is by basil and it's called um, carton I think it's carton hmm carton maybe it's crayon no it's definitely not crayon I think it's carton but it's a pretty melon color and then here's some more of that bright green. It doesn't say, you know, that it's made by Basil, but it is textured, and I assume that it is by Basil, but there's no name on it. And then we usually get some sort of white, so this is Basil White, and it has a lovely little texture too. And then another softer melon color that is textured and more of a coral two sheets of that and then again with some shimmery blue let's see if I can read this one this one oh this is actually not printed on the shimmer or the texture so I can read it easily it's called sparkle look at how beautiful that is I can't wait to use some of this shiny stuff super pretty color and then we have this adorable pink and it is called pinkini like bikini but bikini and it is a lovely textured soft baby pink and again th this one is written clear and then we've got this lovely blue it's like a royal blue that just makes everything kind of pop and it is a textured cardstock as well so lots of yummy colors, lots of yummy papers. I'm excited about using some of this Maggie Holmes. And I've got a lot of videos coming that have the March 2020 kit that I've been utilizing. And I, I, I went through that kit pretty quickly. I think that um, I've gone through the majority of it. I still have some pieces left, but that one went pretty quickly. So let's start with the embellishments now. This is called Sweet Pea, and it is a beautiful, shiny pink foam alpha. It's probably from the Maggie Holmes collection, Sweet Story. This is the Summer Market by Cartabella Chipboard Phrases. Fresh squeezed lemonade, I love that jam I just pulled a recipe to make jalapeno drip jam and tomato uh, bacon tomato drip jam but I'm gonna use turkey bacon because <laughs> I'm, I'm like that you know I'm that health conscious girl so um, locally grown Oh, I can't wait till my local farmers market opens again I'm dying I'm dying <laughs> it's spring uh, summertime is always the best of what might be. Sweet summertime, ice cold so, uh, refreshments sold here. Farmer's market. Oh, I could take pictures of the farmer's market I go to once they open. Oh, I really hope they get to open this summer. So everything good, everything magical happens between the months of June and August. Oh, I love this. This is so perfect for me. 
especially as much as I cook and I like to do like organic and local markets. So this is the Maggie Home Sweet Story ephemera pieces and I think I'm going to go ahead and open some of this. I'll show you the back first. So, oh, more little rainbows. That's so cute. Little butterflies, florals, ice cream cone. I knew there had to be an ice cream cone in here somewhere. Let's see. Let's see what we got. All right, this is some of the smaller pieces. So, butterflies, ooh, little cherries. Fun fact, I did not know. You know, everybody thinks cherries, Washington. In fact, Alan being a Michigander, he informed me that more cherries come out of Michigan than any other state in the US. And that just blew my mind. Some of these are like acetate pieces. Oh, look at the little strawberry. Love that. Gumball machine. These are just super fun. I love the little bow and floral. You're, there's that saying, you're my sunshine and my sky full of stars. Some cute little tags. There's that other saying, life is better with you next to me. And it has the number two. Cute little rainbows. Let your kindness fill the world. I'm currently trying to do that, actually. <laughs> it's kind of my mission. I really, really like to make people healthy and happy. I get a lot of enjoyment out of that. Wish come true. Aww. My wish is to marry my best friend. Like, oh my gosh. We've been together for five years and that looks like an old sugar packet. That's funny. Um, and I can't even marry him because the courthouses are all closed and we pushed our wedding date back to next year, but we're going to go ahead and get married anyway. So I'm just like, ah, oh, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I had everything like emotionally ready and like physically I had everything set into place and we went from being down to I think it was we were down to like I don't know 45 days and then um, we decided to call it off until next year because look at that hey sugar I love that so southern um, because he has a lot of family coming from out of you know different states I have family coming out of um, no I have friends coming out from Vegas it just it, it got to be overwhelming and I said I'm just too nervous and then we found out we can even get a marriage license I can't help but smile oh these are so cute I love these little tags this is a perforated so you can just use it as a whole or use it as like a label over and over and over the way you shine is wonderful and magical and so very bright. So I checked yesterday how many, ooh, I love this. Look at this little set of rainbow love. Let's see if I can show, there you go. Little acetate piece. So I went from like, I, I think we'd gotten to 38 days and then um, now we're back at 409 days <laughs> until our wedding. It's, it's a little frustrating, but that's okay. That's okay. Ooh, I like that. I can, I, I'm confident I'm going to fussy cut those out. Probably watercolor them. That's kind of an unusual frame. Get lost in what you love. I am doing that right now with health coach school. And then look at this little pretty flower. Ah. This is an adorable ephemera pack. Let's set that over here. I'll just put it in its own little bag. And then this is from Maggie Home Sweet Story and it's a bunch of dimensional butterflies with gold. So these are popped up. I like the green. I'm shocked that I like the green the best. Cute, cute, cute. 
And then enamel dots, I've been back into enamel dots recently. I've been digging through my stash and my kits and been putting them on layouts again. Almost every layout lately has enamel dots. So this is from Cartabella's Summer Market. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So um, I guess I've spent enough of your time. Hopefully I've shared some scrapbook goodness with you and I'll have another video for you tomorrow because um, my hauls I'm putting in between my every other day. But right now I am scheduled out through May 10th and every video is set to release at 10 a.m. every other day. So um, yeah, I'm just going to keep doing my thing and enjoying the time that I have to do that. And I wish you a lovely day and I'll talk to you later. Ta-ta for now. Bye.